Hello. <clears throat> it's been a while. I think I haven't made a video uh, for YouTube in about two months. Um, and I uh, just want to uh, catch you up as to uh, why my last series uh, didn't go anywhere. Um, uh, almost as soon as I had announced um, this year's uh, March monologue in a series, um, my uh, work schedule changed and I suddenly had way less daytime hours and way more nighttime hours and that made things difficult. Um, I don't live alone. I live in a house with other people and I prefer to make videos when no one else is around and those opportunities are few and far between. Um, to say nothing of actually having the time and, and, and peace and quiet to actually practice monologues. Um, for some reason I felt it would be sort of violating rules that I didn't set up to um, practice and record all the monologues in advance and then just post them in March. Uh, I felt I had to do each one sort of each week or something like that and uh, that didn't work out at all. I only managed to get one done. Um, I had uh, six planned. Uh, I only managed to do the one, I'm afraid. Um, and once I'd gotten that one done, it was already at the halfway point uh, in March. And then I got really sick. I got a very bad cold. I was congested for days, and that was not ideal circumstances either. Um, but uh, aside from that, it was just a matter of time. Uh, not having time uh, to uh, just uh, make sure that I wasn't bothered. Um, uh, you know, I mean, even just like people wandering around the kitchen talking or playing music, whatever, would interfere with, interfere with my ability to make videos. Um, so I've sort of been discouraged, discouraged myself and what have you. Um, just as I did uh, uh, about a year and a half ago uh, when I went for like two months without making any videos just because, uh, you know, it, uh, it's just hard to find the time to do that. Um, it seems like Wednesdays are good days to uh, make a video uh, in the morning before I go to work and I need to um, uh, wrap this one up quickly so I can get to work. Uh, aside from that, doesn't seem to be a lot of time when no one else is around, and it's uh, good to uh, make uh, make a video. Um, I had an idea for another series to do this summer. Um, because we've got uh, Avengers and Dinosaurs and uh, Millennium Falcons and Incredibles and Impossible Missions all on deck uh, for uh, the summer, uh, I uh, thought, May, maybe this is like going to be like the hugest summer uh, movie season ever. Um, and, uh, you know, very well could be, could very well outgross or produce more, more popular titles than any, uh, summer, uh, since who knows when. Um, so I thought it might be fun to kind of go back, uh, over the years, starting with like the eighties and just look at summer movie seasons, uh, and, um, and just maybe pick three really big hits that have a lot of, lot, lot of longevity and maybe one flop. Um, and just kind of uh, go through them. Not go with every year, because some years are more remarkable than others. Uh, but uh, it's an idea that I had. Um, and if I'm only able to do really videos once a week, then, you know, once a week doesn't seem so bad, uh, like something that I can handle. Um, my series last year, uh, Decades of Action Challenge, that went very well. Um, I uh, stuck to the schedule pretty much, um, but uh, this year has been more difficult. I just haven't had, uh, you know, as many opportunities, or I haven't seized them uh, as, uh, as effectively as I could have. Um, so if you're expecting lots of monologues from me in March, uh, two months ago when I said I was going to do that, very sorry about that. And uh, sorry I haven't been around, and I haven't really been keeping up too much with other people's uh, videos as well. Um, people like, you know, Mike and Ian and James. Uh, and uh, the other guys who are, uh, you know, making videos regularly. Um, you know, I just, um, <laughs> I don't sit down and watch YouTube uh, nearly as much as I used to. I watch a lot more TV now. I have uh, a DVR, and I have, like, eight uh, episodes of, like, six different series uh, that I have recorded on there, and I have to watch at some point. Uh, even after, like, cutting out a whole bunch of it, I decided I wasn't going to watch uh, Good Girls, the new series Good Girls, or Unreal, or Designated Survivor. I quit watching that one just because I just wasn't interested anymore. But still, there's a bunch of series um, that I need to get to. And plus, Netflix. Uh, I now have Netflix. I didn't have it before. I now have it because I can get it through my cable box. That makes things very easy. Um, and, uh, and and there's series. There's like four different series that I like to watch. I like to see the Dear White People series. 
uh, and uh, Stranger Things, and Jessica Jones, and Mindhunter, uh, and um, Lost in Space. I just, like, got about halfway through the first episode of the new Lost in Space series. It's okay. I don't know if I'll stick with that. Um, but it's only one episode, so maybe if I watch two or three, I might become more interested. But really, the less series I'm interested in, the better. Um, this summer, Animal Kingdom is going to start up again on TNT. I really like that series when I watched it last year, so I'm looking forward to that. And there's just new series all the time. There's just so many good things to watch. You know, so many good series. Not just lots of series to keep up with, but good ones. Um, and that's uh, excluding Amazon and Hulu, which I don't have. Uh, can't get to um, uh, Handmaid's Tale until that comes out on DVD, if it does. Uh, one thing I didn't realize at first about Netflix is that only a little bit of Netflix comes out on DVD. House of Cards, for example. That I've watched, I I'm up to date on. Um, but I was kept waiting and waiting and waiting for Jessica, jo Jessica Jones to come on DVD, and it never did. I'm like, oh, they're not going to do it. They're just going to keep it streaming, which is a problem for me until I get Netflix. And so now I do, so I'm going to have that, along with all the other cable network series that I'm going to be watching. Plus, of course, <laughs> movies that are going to be coming out this summer. There's plenty of them that I'm uh, excited for. Top of my list is The Incredibles 2 and Mission Impossible Fallout. Uh, those will be coming out later. Uh, Solo is just about to open. Uh, I'm, I'll be seeing it this Saturday. Um, I've seen Deadpool 2, of course. I've seen Infinity War. Haven't done a video on, uh, <laughs> on any Marvel movies since Civil War, so I should really get on that. And I haven't done uh, a video on uh, The Last Jedi either. I shot, shot some footage uh, on the day uh, that I went to see it, um, but uh, I haven't used it yet. I haven't done a review of it. Um, I haven't been, I didn't feel strongly about the movie. I think it's a very good movie, but I didn't feel strongly enough to actually get on camera and go, hey guys, I gotta tell you what I thought of The Last Jedi. I just haven't. Um, plus, there's the marathons. I'm way behind on my marathons. Um, I um, still haven't uh, completed the 2016 marathon video. Uh, I did a marathon and didn't finish the video, and I didn't do a marathon last year, and I don't know if I'll get to a marathon this year. I wanted to do like a whole bunch of marathons. Sorry, okay. battery issue there. Um, that's what you get when you um, stop using the camera for two months. You forget, you know, how much power is left in the battery. Um, so, like I was saying, I was thinking of doing like theme marathons this year, maybe one per month. Uh, Darren Aronofsky, all seven Darren Aronofsky movies over two days. Uh, and um, uh, other theme marathons, like uh, great movies I've only seen one time and want to rewatch. Um, movies uh, that. Uh, great. Uh, now I even forgot what I was going to say. Um, anyway, um, doing like a marathon over two days is like uh, a movie marathon would be fun. Um, I think, <laughs> because it's really fun to plan marathons, but it's it's a lot of work to actually do them. Um, and then, of course, a lot of work to actually put the video together. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I'm sort of uncertain on that. But doing one video a week on, like, summer movie seasons would just basically require some research, you know. Uh, a little bit of research every week, so that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, um... So, um, like I was saying, sorry I've been away for so long. Um, if you're a fan of my videos, uh, sorry to disappoint that I haven't been around and everything like that. Um, I've had dozens of video ideas over the years that I never actually did anything with. Um, and there are some ideas that are just sort of beyond my means. Um, but I'm going to need a new computer pretty soon. Um, I've had the computer um, that I have right now for like eight years. So I'm going to need a new computer. And with that will be, I'll need a new camera. You know, an, a, an actual widescreen, high-def camera, <laughs> and some decent editing software. And that would mean a lot more time spent making videos and putting them together. Whereas with this setup right now, all I have to do basically is shoot for a few minutes while I talk and then upload it directly. Um, and that's it. You know, it's very simple. Because um, I have lots of other stuff kind of to do. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, again, sorry I've been gone for so long. Uh, sorry to disappoint if I have. Um, but, uh, you know, I, 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 there, I remember back when I first started making videos, I was super eager to be on it. And I really wasn't watching a lot of people that were doing movie theme videos, just like general opinion videos and what have you. Um, and, uh, and, and uh, again, it's uh, sort, of, sort of moved away from that. Ha haven't been watching much YouTube lately. A lot more, you know, films and, and television, basically. And, uh, of course, there's lots of 
<coughs> articles online to read um, that only take a few minutes versus a video like the one you're watching right now is several minutes long and that's a time commitment. Um, and uh, there are guys that make videos that are way longer than that. Not blaming anyone for that, I'm just saying, you know, that's very enjoyable if you've got the time for it, which I don't always have. Um, so... Uh, I did a video a while back in which I talked about some of the other things you can watch on my channel. Um, but I didn't actually publicize, I just left as a link. So I'll do that again. I'll leave the link to that video in the description. If you want to hear me talk about all the different things on my channel as far as playlists go. Um, so that'll be in the description if you want to see it. Of course, also in the description uh, is uh, the link to my Facebook page um, for my channel, which basically I just post odd videos here and there instead of my own, you know, just uh, other stuff of interest uh, that I've enjoyed. But uh, yeah, I haven't been spending nearly as much time on YouTube as I used to. I um, used to spend hours on YouTube, and now it's just like, let me take a half an hour just to see what's up. And, um, you know, oh, here's a 17-minute video that I'm really interested. It's on Alan Moore. This just got published a couple days ago, but I haven't watched it yet. I've liked saving it for later. And when you save so many of those videos over a long period of time, it becomes sort of unmanageable. There's something called the Watch Later playlist. If you are on a page with a whole bunch of videos to choose from, or if you're watching a video and you see in the right-hand column there's, you know, related videos or, or what have you, you know, you can... Um, select those videos to watch later. If you put the cursor over the lower right hand corner, I believe it's the lower right hand corner, it might have changed since then, but an icon appears where you can click on it and it will automatically be added to your watch later playlist if you're logged in and you have an account on YouTube. My watch later playlist is 1100 videos long right now. <laughs> I'm never going to get to all those videos. It, it dates back to 2016. You know, there's so many videos and I just stopped putting them on there because there's just no way that it could go beyond that. I mean, the list was starting to actually malfunction because it was so long. Um, so there's also the viewing history. If I click on a video and watch like maybe the first three seconds of it, it'll be added to my viewing history and then I can move on and go to the viewing history. Um, page later and go through all those videos I didn't have time for, but that's grown unmanageable as well. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of stuff uh, is uh, vying for my attention, and I just don't hardly have time to for any of it, especially since I'm watching more series now, and each one of those episodes is typically, uh, you know, 20 to 40 minutes longer or longer for the uh, premium channels. The premium channels, it's like a full hour for each one. Um, I, Westworld started again recently, I'm enjoying that. Um, along with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, the Deuce is about to start again, I think, on HBO. Um, I've, of course, learned that Big Little Lies is going to be coming back next year, uh, along with the last season of Game of Thrones. I'm super thrilled for that, of course. Um, yeah, it's, uh, there's, there's, there's too much. There's just too much to see, too much to take in. And summer's here, so it's time to get outside for a little bit because the cold weather and rainy weather is finally abating around here in Chicago. Don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, and uh, I will, like I said, try and make uh, videos on a weekly basis. Wednesday seems to be a good day for that. At least to record them anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye.